Welcome back to the Doctors Unscripted. We're yes. uh -oh. oh, this uh -oh. could be the Somebody's next one. Somebody's up here. Is that oh, package. a delivery? I have a special delivery for you, Dr. Travis. Uh -huh. Oh, well, thank you very much. You'll have to answer the question in the box using only the items in the box. And it's safe to open? Sure is. <laughs> All right. Good luck, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Does it say who it's from? Pop out. There we go. I thought Christmas was over. Yeah, it's kind of like Christmas all over again. All right, Wait. here we are. All right. Let's see what our question is. Dear doctors, I go hiking all the time. I only bring the items in this box with me when I head out on the trails. Hypothetically, if I were to fall and, fall and break my arm, how can I use these items to treat myself and immobilize my arm until I go to a hospital. This is from Keith in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Oh, I Keith, I that. love that you're thinking ahead of time. So, sleeping pad, sleeping pad that'll work. With some straps around it. So it's, ooh, Hiking some, poles, I like yeah, that. Let's see good. what else we can use. But a fleece jacket, a belt. belt. Cool. There you go. So, sleeping pads are actually amazing immobilization devices. Mm -hmm. They can be used for your leg as well. Yeah. So. It, what I'm gonna have you do, doc, Dr. Sears, is pretend okay. you have a broken right leg. So go right ahead and lay on the ground for oh, me. Oh, my leg. Oh. Oh, 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 what you can oh, actually oh. do, is Dr. Lisa, you wanna bring those poles over. Yes. Use drink. whatever you have to stabilize that leg. So what you can do is you can take a sleeping pad. So ordinarily, you'd cut the padding to make it smaller, then wrap the leg in a U-shaped splint. You wanna secure the splint with the mattress straps or any rope or tape that you might have. So this is an impression of Willie Nelson hiking out in the, <laughs> in the woods. I'm not using this belt to tighten it up enough to restrict blood flow, that's very important. Mm -hmm. But all you're trying to do is immobilize the broken bone so that you can get the person to safety yeah. in as little pain as possible. If you have hiking poles, I would actually use your hiking poles to help get you out, yeah, almost like extra walk. crutches. It's like a crutch, yeah. Dr. Sears, I'm gonna pull you up here. Okay. Th this is a little big. But the other thing you can use, you can even use a rolled up magazine mm -hmm. or a rolled up newspaper. If you have a broken arm, wrap up that magazine around wherever the fracture is. It can stabilize it enough for you to get to help.